Good evening, I'm Chief Meteorologist Kyle Adams. I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming days, Thursday and Friday, with our chance for severe weather and some potential heavy rain here across west central Ohio. Here's the setup we're looking at right now, and we're going to see an area of low pressure developing off to our west, and that's going to be drawing up a lot of gulf moisture, and it's also going to uh, have some pretty strong upper level support as it moves in here toward us in west central Ohio in the coming days, so you can see uh, the elements in place, and as this system develops and moves in we'll see a better chance for some heavy rain and even the potential for some severe weather in the coming days now right now our future cast looks like this we'll see a couple rounds of rain still moving in one tomorrow morning for the first half of the day we could see some thunder or hear some thunder with that as well for the first half of our Thursday there's that bulk of precipitation moving through West Central Ohio some heavy showers and thunderstorms down into southwestern Ohio as well and then as this warm front continues to lift north it looks as that precipitation precipitation will move off to our east by late in the day. We may get a little bit of a break, but as this area of low pressure approaches out of the west, as you can see right there, uh, that's when we'll begin to see our chance for some severe weather here in west central Ohio. So for during the day tomorrow, uh, the Storm Prediction Center in Normal, Oklahoma has a moderate threat for severe weather, especially over parts of Arkansas and Missouri, southern Illinois, western Tennessee, as you can see there. Uh, but the biggest threat stays to the south and west of us. You can see here in west central Ohio we're kind of right on the edge of that slight risk uh, here in west central Ohio and again that severe threat window at least here won't really come into play until after midnight into Friday morning in the first half of the day on Friday. So as we continue on in our future cast you can see that low moving toward us here in west central Ohio and as that low nears so will our chance. Our chance will increase for severe weather as this area of low pressure uh, gets a little bit closer. So by about Friday at 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, you can see that low moving toward us. And then eventually, as it begins to push through, it'll drag a cold front off to the south. And depending on how quickly we can get this cold front through, will really determine on whether or not we'll see uh, a low end risk for severe weather for the first half of the day on Friday. If this front clears the area before it can really tap into some moisture that will build in uh, into the early and afternoon hours here across the region, the severe weather threat will form just to the east of us in west central Ohio. But if that front slows down a bit, we're going to see a better chance for some severe weather because it will have some daytime heating on its side. It'll be able to tap into a little better moisture, especially during the middle of the day. And that will uh, give us a better environment for uh, a, a chance for a severe thunderstorm or two. You can see the dew points really building in as we head into Friday morning, and you need that moisture to really fuel these thunderstorms. And you can see about 7 o'clock on Friday morning, the dew point in line at 58 degrees, which is plenty uh, to see that chance for some thunderstorms here in the region. So it's all about the timing of that cold front that we'll really be watching for the first half of the day on Friday. As you can see there, uh, that slight risk for severe storms, mainly to the east of Lima, uh, but again, that may shift back a little bit west depending on how fast or slowly that front moves. So that's something we'll really be watching in the coming days. Here's the overall outlook Thursday night through early Friday, at least through the early afternoon hours. A uh, pretty low-end threat for the most part, but damaging wind uh, definitely a concern along with some uh, small hail here in the region and then a flooding concern too we could see upwards of two inches of rain as all these rounds of showers and thunderstorms do push through west central ohio and of course i'll have much more on this uh, tonight at 10 and 11 we'll be following this in the coming days